Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is data table export. I have a video covering how to get data into a data table, for example, from a CSV file, spreadsheet file. But sometimes you might want to get it out, or you might want to see how the actual structure of the file is in an external program. Well, you can easily export data out into both CSV and JSON formats by simply right-clicking on your data table and choosing export as CSV or JSON. So let's cover creating a new one of these really quickly, export it out, and look at how they're structured. So I'm just going to make a new structure and we'll call this one our struct test struct. We'll make it really simple. We'll put a few things in there. So we're going to go ahead and put in a, yeah, we'll do three things. We'll do like a name and we'll do a age and we'll do, um, I don't know, we'll go with title. We'll make these things easy. We'll make it strings and an integer and we'll go ahead and save it out so now we have a structure with three values we'll go ahead and make a data table from this so miscellaneous data table we want to do it out of our test structure now we have our test data table we'll go ahead and open it up and here's our data table we'll go ahead and add two rows so one two we'll make this really simple name matt age 100,000 million title person we're going to name this row Matt Row. And then we'll go ahead and go to this one. Name will be Bill. We'll give him an age of 15. His title will be Other Dude. And it's going to be Row Name. And I'm leaving this one like this on purpose so we can check it out. So here's our data table. That's great. We can use it if we had this in another program. We could bring it in. Not a problem. But let's say we want to actually, we've started working in here. Now we want to work on it somewhere else. Well, we can right click, we can export as CSV or JSON. So I'm gonna export out a CSV. I'm gonna go ahead and save this into a folder. So let's export this out as test. But we're also gonna export it out as JSON. And we're gonna do that one as well. So temp record and we'll do test. And now we should end up with two files. We have both, let me go ahead and delete old ones, a test CSV and a test JSON. If we open up the CSV file, we get what we expect. It's a CSV file we could put into a spreadsheet or Google Sheets or something like that, and we get our stuff for editing. If we open up the JSON, we actually get a JSON file like we'd expect. Now, because this is a JSON file, rather than being rows and columns, it treats each object as a unique, each row as a unique object. So if you look in here, we have the outers for our array, which is all of our objects, and then we have the inner, which is each object or each row. So the first one, even though it says name, this actually refers to the row name. Everything after that are our properties. If we go back into the editor itself and we look at the properties of our data table, we have name, age, and title. And if we compare that to our JSON object, we have name for the row name, name, age, and title, which is actually our row information. And you can see down here. So keep that in mind. This is the way the JSON would be structured. The first item is called name and that is the actual row name itself. Now the nice part about this is once you've exported it out you can easily bring it back in just by re-importing it. So we've got it out but you'll notice that we don't really have a link. We can't re-import because we don't have an original. However, if we go ahead and do re-import and point it towards our new one, either the CSV or the JSON, we'll go to the JSON. Now you'll notice it has a link. In the bottom it says source file test JSON. So now if I re-import, it's going to go ahead and re-import it from there. And I can easily just export it back out or open the source data just like this. So in this case, I'm going to go to my folder. I'll go ahead and open up my JSON file. We're going to go ahead and rename the first person to Derek like this, and we'll save it out. We'll go ahead and close it. We're going to go and re-import, and we should get the new stuff. And we look at it, you now see we have Derek and Matt. So it went ahead and re-imported without an issue. So that is something to keep in mind. Uh, one thing you will notice here though, our name and name are the same. This brings back what I was mentioning in regards to the way the file is set up. Let's go ahead and open the file. 
you are supposed to have unique property names inside of a JSON file. So because we have the name in here twice and there doesn't do any form of validation, you'll notice our rows don't actually work properly. So you need to keep that in mind. Your row name is called name. So you'll have to do something else inside of your actual project, your CSV data structure, or you're gonna have an issue where you're gonna have conflictions with the names. We could easily fix this. We'll go into our test structure and this will be the person name. We'll go ahead and close this. We'll go ahead and open up our data table. Now we have person name, so we can save that. We'll go ahead and export out back to the test JSON. If we open it up, we will find it now has name and person name. And then now if we go ahead and re-import it back in, because remember we are linked to that JSON, We'll re-import. Now if we open it up, now we can see it should be fixed. And it's not fixed because of the fact, yeah, duh. Um, yeah, it, it is fixed, but it would help if I actually edited the file to show you it was fixed. Because keep in mind we have Derek and Matt, Derek and Matt. So we can make sure you actually have valid data in here. Or else it's not going to work when you re-import it. So we'll re-import it again with the proper data. And now you'll see the row names are importing properly and the names are importing properly because they are separate property names. And that's it. That's going to wrap up how to import, sorry, how to export data out of a data table in both a CSV and a JSON format.